Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 25. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 22 to 26. Hey, tri uh, YouTubers Love Excel number 25, someone asked about a pivot chart. Now, here's the deal. I want to show you 2007. I've already converted this to a table. I'm going to convert it back to a range and then show you how to convert it to a table. Now, the advantage and I'm going to do everything in 2007, the, the table, the pivot table, pivot chart. The advantage of these tables in 2007 is they have dynamic ranges. So if you build a pivot table based on uh, an Excel table 2007, if you add new records to the bottom, the pivot table range will automatically update. Now I want to convert this to a table, Control T. Uh, create table. It knows the range. Uh, control L from earlier versions for list still works too. I'm going to click OK. Now the table, we've talked about this in other uh, videos at YouTube, but this, we're just going to make a pivot table from it. But the beauty of converting it to a table is that when the pivot table looks at this range, if we add new records, the pivot table range will automatically be updated. Now how do I create a pivot table? The keyboard shortcut in 2007 is Alt N V T. That is the reason why is because we go to insert, which is N, V, which is pivot table, and T, which is pivot table. Now the keyboard shortcut in earlier versions, 2003, is Alt D P. And actually, where there were three steps, I would click next, and then next, and then finish. I'm going to click Escape. Alt N V T. Enter. Whoop. Now, another interesting thing, uh, I have it set up so that even though I'm in 2007, this pivot table over here has drag and drop features and a user interface like 2007. If you like that, here's how I did it. I right click, pivot table options, and under display, I click classic pivot table layout. I'm going to undo it this time just so I can show you all of it in 2007. Now, um, it was, it's easier in 2007 with these field areas over here. Uh, it's less prone for errors. But if you remember the old way and you like it, that's how to convert it. Now, I want to make a little pivot table. I'm going to click uh, Customer and drag it to the row labels. Boop. Then I'm going to click Sales and drag it to the values. Notice here it says Row. That's because this is the row header. Boop, boop, boop. If I were to drag uh, Product ID to the columns, that's called the column headers because here's the columns. I'm going to drag this out of here. Now, I want to uh, show you this Report Filter. In earlier versions, it was called page field. I want to drag the Product ID here. Now, what this does is something amazing. It, it, adds a drop down at the top and you can click on any one of these. Now in earlier versions you could just do one at a time. In this version you can actually click and select multiple items. No way, that's so amazing. So if I want to just see this product and this product, I click OK and that's it. The table is filtered, the complete table. Go back to All, click OK. I click down here, I undo All, I click on One, click OK. That is just amazing. It shows just that product. I'm going to go back to All. Now I'm going to go back to my table, which is right here, and I'm going to uh, put my cursor in the table and control down arrow, and then I'm at the bottom of the table, and this is a huge table, but at the bottom of any Excel table, if you tab, it adds a new record. Now it has 75, I have something randomizing there, and I have something randomizing there too. But now I'm going to type the date, 7 28 2009 tab. And this um, product here is Q, Y, there it is. And then I'm going to hit Tab. That's autocomplete. Now, what I want to show you here is when I go back to my uh, pivot table, scroll over here, and I right click. Um, that range has been updated. And if you don't uh, believe it, and you shouldn't at first, you should always test these things, uh, click on Options and then go back to Change Data Source. Data Source. And now look, it says Table 2 there. And if you scroll all the way down, notice it got our added record. That is an amazing feature of Excel tables in 2007 and how to use that feature with a pivot table. Now, pivot tables don't automatically update like formulas. You have to right click, refresh, 
and then it refreshes, pivot tables refreshes. Now that's a pivot table, now I want to do a pivot chart. Options, and in the tool section, notice I always have my um, ribbon really scrunched up and small because the, um, the window is down, but in the tools group you can just click on pivot chart, boop, and it asks you which chart. I'm gonna scroll down and do a bar chart because I want to compare these, and sometimes bars sitting horizontal uh, are easy to compare the differences and then click OK. Now it dumps the chart and this um, chart filter here right on the sheet. I'm going to right click the sheet. Now let's try this again. Right click and move chart. And I'm going to say as a new sheet in, I'm going to say uh, bar chart sales and then click OK. Now it's going to add a whole new a whole new sheet right here. See bar chart sales. Now we have this uh, drop down and we can easily select anything we want. Uh, just uh, those two items. Uh, click OK and sure enough the chart updates. I go back up here. I want to see just this one. The chart updates. Totally amazing. You can even format it. Right click. Uh, format chart area. I'm going to go to solid. I'm going to click the light color there. And then there's a close button. I'm going to click on this a number this axis here, control 1, which is the keyboard shortcut for format cells or format chart area. Number. I'm going to click accounting and uh, none and then click close. Now this is kind of hard to see cuz it's so scrunched up. I'm going to uh, and I can't really make it bigger because of the screen, but there it is. Um, that's how to make a pivot chart, how to use the report filter, back to this sheet, how to use the report filter, and back here, how to use the Excel 2007 table fil feature to have your range automatically update in a pivot table. All right, see you next YouTuber trick.